Normally I'd say... Another distraction. Sometimes Good for the Bramble Bridge, but this one wonders how long their isolationist ways can last. Wood orcs aren't the only threats in Valenwood. What is it? Yeah! 
Now, where did he run? Well, aren't you the bold one? Running around this part of the forest, you've got to be either fearless or just plain foolhardy. Haven't you seen the undead? I'm a vine desk ranger, and I'm not even sure I'm safe here. Ah, yes, you're the one he mentioned. He'll be glad you're here. The Veiled Heritants were one thing, but the undead are too much. They're Blackroot clan. They were a cruel lot even when they were living, and now they're even worse. Don't ask me. We're at a standstill as far as I'm concerned. I'm not even sure what's at stake. Until I know more, we're hunkering down here. Indaini has been running around, though. He's probably got a plan, but you two are on your own for now. Eh, you know, he comes and goes. Oh, yeah, there he is. Did she tell you? One of the greatest mysteries of Valenwood has finally been solved. Decades of conflicting rumors have been put to rest. We finally know what happened to the Blackroot clan. They died, right here in Valaine. Yes, once again, the work of Naaman's Shade and the Veiled Heritants. And yes, I do realize we need to return them to rest, but I'm hoping we can uncover more about what happened here while we do. Are you ready to get to work, my friend? The Blackroot clan warriors are even more bloodthirsty in death than they were in life. But there are also other spirits here, glimmers from the past, crying out for help. I think they're trying to show us something. We need to watch them. Look for the glimmers of the past I spoke of. Hopefully they will help us figure out how to put the Blackroot clan back to rest. What's that over there? Elfirian, General Malgoth and the rest of the Blackroot troops are almost upon us. No, that plan is madness! Silence, Glonir. Our sacrifice today will ensure our sister villages live on. Here's another scene. Let's watch. Elfie, I can't do this. I'm scared. I don't want to die. It's all right, Glenville. The poison itself is slow. The Black Root will have cut our throats long before you felt its effects. Here, we'll drink it together, and I'll fight by your side till the end. Until the end. Now. To battle! The last of them, General. The village is clear. An easy victory. Valene is the first to fall, but there will be more. Now, per the meat mandate, let us feast on the fallen. Prepare the cave temple. It's a suitable place for a celebration.
Another one. General Morgoth. The troops. Half of them are dead. The other half... ...are dying, including us. This is poison. The villagers poison themselves to poison us. What do you mean? The meat mandate, you idiot. Elfiria knew she couldn't win on the field, but she'll still manage victory. To the Nereid Temple. Perhaps we can beg a cure. Here's another scene. Rise, my soldiers. Back to your bodies and take Why up arms. Why do you arms. command us from the ooze? A powerful one, unknown to me, has stolen my bow. It invoked the right of theft and commanded we march against the Dominion. By your command. To think the villagers actually poisoned themselves in order to poison the Blackroot clan. It may be morbid, but it's also brilliant. Of course, that really doesn't help us return the Blackroot warriors to their graves, does it? From what I gathered, one of Naaman's servants has stolen General Malgoth's bow and compels the Blackroot clan to fight by the right of theft. What we need to do is steal the General's bow back, and then we can release him from his vows. We must rely on the scenes of the past. After being poisoned, General Malgoth went to the Nereid Temple. It's likely he died within. I suggest you go in and search for the General's remains. I'll continue searching for clues out here in the forest. Be wary in there. Nereids wield dangerous magic and can never be trusted. It's no surprise they helped the villagers in their suicidal plot. In fact, the Nereids probably consider General Malgoth's bow a prize. They will defend his remains. Desperation turns enemies into allies. The villagers knew General Molgoth and the Blackroot clan were going to attack, and they knew they couldn't win. Likely they asked the Nereids for help, and the Nereids convinced them this was the best course. Of course, Molgoth sought to unite all the Bosma under his leadership. He led the Blackroot clan to conquer much of Valenwood during the Bosma tribal wars. Then one day they just disappeared. No one knew what happened, until now. The Bosma have always been free peoples, bound only to the green. Rarely have the tribes united under singular leadership, although for a period many, like Malgoth, tried. Most of the so-called wars were not fought at all, but won by trickery. Yes, General Malgoth had traveled far and wide. He had seen the greatness that comes to those who conquer through military might. That you'd not heard of him is a tribute to the sacrifice of the Valene Bosma, because it's in their nature. Death amuses them, and all the more when they can manipulate people into bringing about their own demise. As distasteful as it may be, the Nereids are part of the natural order. I just try to stay away from them. As barbaric as it seems, many clans still lived by the old traditions during the Bosma tribal wars. Mind you, they didn't consume the bodies of the dead because they enjoyed the taste. It was a matter of tradition. Apparently so. Though the tactics they embrace sound more like a Nereid plot than something the villagers themselves might have come up with on their own. For General Molgoth, that's apparently the case. For all his ambition, he was still a staunch traditionalist. It's actually quite impressive that his sense of honor remains intact even so many years after his death. I'd say this is a perverted case. The value that Molgoth placed on his bow alone may be enough for him to want it back. Or he may be using the right of theft as a more honorable justification for his new servitude. There was fear in his voice.
Go on if you must, but I'm going to remove you. You would steal that which has already been stolen. Then enter the Shadow Wood and seek it, though you will find only death.
Come face me if it's the bow you desire. The bow is a boon to our army. We will not have Back in the shadow wood. I had hoped not to visit here again. But if this is where he is holding the general's bow, then it's just as well. We need to find the shade to get the bow back. I don't know. We'll have to search until we find it. In the meantime, however, do you recall the glimmers of the past we saw earlier? It seems those spirits are trapped here in the shadow. We should release them. It's the shadow rifts that bind them here. From this side, you only need to touch the rifts to close them. That will release the spirits from their torment and weaken Naaman's grip on this place. If you'll focus on that, I'll search for the shade. Good luck. We'll see you by the stones. Soon join us and fight at Morgoth's side. I hope you prepared for undeath. Fresh smile on you. You closed the rifts that bound us here. You must stop that shade, though. It ceased to do terrible things to Valenwood. Though I have passed on many years gone now, I still consider Valenwood my home. Thank you. And thank you again for releasing us from his grasp. To be pulled back from the rest of death and bound like this, forced to serve such darkness, it was sheer torture. Though we are dead. The people of Valain are in your debt. Good luck! Naaman warned me about you, and I'm That was a harrowing experience all around. I'm glad it's over. I hope we have succeeded in weakening Naaman's grasp on Valenwood as a whole. Only one thing remains. We must deal with the spirit of General Malgoth. Yes, and since you have succeeded in stealing it, it falls on you to invoke the right of theft with the General. Whatever you ask him, he will be compelled to do. The compassionate choice would be to release the General and his army, to allow them to return to their rest. But if you prefer, you might ask them instead to turn against Naaman and aid our forces in the fight for Valenwood. The choice is yours. So it's true then? You have retrieved my bow from the Shade? My father told me, you will find your bow in an animal's bone. 
Before it's even carved, you will see it. Mammoth's tusk. Extraordinarily difficult to make a good bow out of. But it was just like he said. I saw it, and I knew. What do you want? You want... I've misheard you. I thought you said leave. But we don't deserve rest. Not after what happened here. We belong to the Ooze. You released him. I think that was the right thing to do. Since you already freed the villagers' spirits from the Shadowwood, that means all the spirits here can now be at rest. We've done a good thing here. We've done all we can here, but it's clear that Naaman still seeks to harm Valenwood, so our work is not finished. I suggest we spread out and search for signs of darkness. When Auriel wills it, I am certain the Green will bring us together again. Unless you have questions for me, I will soon be on my way. We should both search the forest for other signs of Naaman's corruption. I fear at some point we will have to confront Naaman himself. A spiritual prison of a sort. Bosma who break their oath to the Green Pact go there when they die, to reflect for an eternity. There's a place called Owls where we bring the bodies of Oathbreakers. Some think it's a physical link to the Ooze.